An MPOX vaccination campaign targeting high-risk groups is underway in Goma in the east of the Democratic Republic of Congo. The health ministry in Kinshasa says that it's an attempt to curb the spread of the virus, which has killed close to 1,000 people this year. Well, more than 200,000 doses of the MPOX vaccine have been donated by the EU and the US. For more, here's the BBC World Services Africa regional editor Richard Kagoe. Congolese health officials today launched the country's first MPOX vaccination in the eastern city of Congo. Well, the ceremony, which was presided over by senior government officials, now sets the stage for what will be considered to be a key effort in containing the outbreak that has spread across the country's 26 provinces and also from the epicenter in the east of the country. Uh, to more than 15 countries uh, in the continent. According to the country's uh, health uh, minister, about uh, a thousand people have been killed uh, since uh, the emergence of uh, a very deadly strain of uh, MPOX uh, was detected in the east of the country. Now, this is a very uh, unique uh, vaccination campaign because it's uh, specifically targeted at people who are at a high risk. So, for instance, uh, those who have pre-existing conditions, those who are weak or immunocompromised. Uh, it's also targeted at health workers who are literally in the front line and also uh, sex workers as well and people who are involved uh, in cross-border trade and anyone who's been exposed to uh, a suspected case. So the exercise uh, which began in Goma uh, today will expand uh, from the city, which is the regional uh, city in the east of the country uh, to North Kivu province and uh, South Kivu province, which have been uh, quite affected uh, by uh, the outbreak. Richard Kagori reporting there.